Good morning. I will speak for my wife, Pat Lombard, uh, since the muscles in her throat are weak and she gets hoarse when she talks, so it's easier for me to tell you about her history. Pat was diagnosed with breast cancer in early 2007 and had surgery in May 2007. She had a partial mass mastectomy on the right breast with a number of lymph nodes under her right arm also removed at this time. She was followed up, this was followed up with chemotherapy from July to November 2007 and radiation from October to December 2007. In 2008, she took a chemo drug orally, which was called Taxol. After the completion of her chemo and radiation treatments in December of 2007, Pat began to experience muscle weakness, neuropathy, or the lack of feeling in her hands and her feet, a, a degradation of her reflexes, balance problems, and occasional bouts of vertigo. For four years, from January 2008 to March 2012, Pat had frequent falls with severe blows to her head. This resulted in a number of 911 calls and visits to emergency rooms and local hospitals here in Clearwater. One small blood mass between this, the brain and the skull developed from these falls and blows to the head by late 2011 and then a more substantial blood mass was formed from a fall in March of 2012. This culminated in brain surgery in March of 2012 called a craniotomy. From March 2012 into 2013, Pat had what was thought to be a number of TIAs or mini seizures which again resulted in a number of, of 911 calls and visits to local hospitals. These TIAs were later determined to have been seizures caused by the anti-seizure medicine itself prescribed after her brain surgery. In February of 2014, April of 2014, and June of 2014, Pat had three internal hemorrhages which required hospitalization, blood transfusions, and repair. It was in July of 2014 that Pat attended Dr. Edgerton's Neuropathy Solutions Seminar at Morton Plant Hospital and later met with Dr. Edgerton for his free one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation at his clinic to discuss her medical history since she was getting steadily weaker and losing muscle mass in addition to her continued balance problems and neuropathy problems in her hands and in her feet. At this point she was not able to even walk with a walker unassisted or able to get up from a chair or get in and out of bed unassisted. Dr. Edgerton set up a personalized program for Pat. Pat was barely able to do one full body squat when she started, but now does 60 squats, 60 leg bends, and 60 toe heel stands every day. Pat has had no internal hemorrhages since she has been on Dr. Edgerton's program. She can move around now with a walker unassisted, although I still watch her closely. She's now able to get up from a chair and get in and out of bed unassisted. Her oncologist recently told her that he was very surprised and impressed when he saw how much she had improved and how well she was doing. Her primary doctor also said recently that she was surprised to see Pat's improvement and stated that she thought Pat looked better than she had looked in a couple of years. Pat liked that. 
We are grateful that we were able to find Dr. Edgerton and his efficient staff. They have been wonderful and have given Pat positive encouragement every step of the way. Thank you.